So here is my audience. Put you guys down. All right. Mom, you are the very first love of my life. From the second I was born, you fought for me, you empowered me, and you knew me. You used to say that you would be in my corner even if I murdered someone. And then we would laugh about it, but I truly believe that you weren't kidding. When times were tough, you tried not to let us feel it. I could see how hard you worked for us. This is why I work so hard now. You are so proud of me, and I can honestly say that I always feel it. I'm very scared that I'll lose the feeling of unconditional support because it's so hard to find in this world. It's also such an important part of who I am. Everything that I have accomplished so far has been made possible by the confidence that I grew from your words. You sacrificed your whole life to make sure that we felt this deep love. My life's work is dedicated to spreading this deep love to others, but know that this would not be possible without you. You were my best friend, the only person who sometimes even understood my humor. You're the smartest person I know. You're the kindest person I know and the most adventurous. I'm so grateful that you chose to be my mom and I'll never take this for granted. You saw me, even as a child, you saw me as me. You accepted me and my brother exactly the way that we are and did whatever it took to support us in accomplishing our dreams. You allowed me to be my weird, amazing self because you created the safest, loving environment in the world. Even my friends could feel it when they were around you. You were that mom that everyone wished they had. I'm excited for a time where I'll be able to try to be a parent, but know that I can never be as good as you. I will try. I will dedicate most of my life and what I do to you. I'll not hold back from chasing every dream and climbing every mountain. I feel so strong with your love as part of my DNA. I will not waste it. I love you to the sun and back. It's much farther than the moon. Rest in peace, your first son, Art.